Alosra Restaurant presents Shehrul Rehma only on the 973 show Min wala bikum kal hal aqrab wa hal hazz Food board kal waqt kal makan السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ پریہ متروں سجنوں ساتھیوں بہنوں اور بھائیوں آپ کا سواگت ہے آج کے شہر الرحما میں آپ سن رہے ہیں دی نائن سیون تھری شو اور اس پروگرام کو بنانے میں ترتیب دینے میں ہمارا سہیوگ دیتے ہیں ڈسکور اسلام سوسائٹی کنگڈم آف بحرین اس پروگرام میں جیسے آپ جانتے ہیں ہم ہر روز کسی نہ کسی ایک اسکالرلی پرسنالٹی کو بلاتے ہیں دعوت دیتے ہیں اور ان سے جو کارآمد باتیں ہوتی ہیں جو بینیفیشیل ٹاکس ہوتے ہیں جو میسیج ہوتا ہے ان کے اندر وہ سندیش ہم ان سے لیتے ہیں آج ہم نے پھر سے دعوت دی ہے ڈاکٹر عبد الغفار آرتھوپیڈک کنسلٹنٹ سرونگ ان بارن فرام سیورل ڈیکیڈس he is here with us and he is going to tell us about in this ramadan yani is ramadan jisse hum aur aap guzar rahe hain usme ek vyakti kaise apne characters ko apne akhlaq ko behtar bana sakta hai it is something new right so let us go and listen to dr abdul ghaffar بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاۃ والسلام علی رسول اللہ ولی علیہ وصحاب اجمعین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ رمضان مبارک ٹو آل آئی ول اسٹارٹ ود اے کوشچن واٹ از دا پرپز آف رمضان آف کورس ایوری بڑی ول سی دا پرپز آف رمضان از فار اوبلیگیٹری فاسٹنگ ویل واٹ از فاسٹنگ فار وی ہیو ٹو گو ٹو سورت البقرا یا ایوہ الدین آمنو او یو ہو بلیو کتب علیکم السیام وی ہیو پرسکرائبڈ فاسٹنگ فار یو کما کتب علی الدین من قبل کم لائک وی پرسکرائب فاسٹنگ فار دا پیپل بفور یو لا اللہ تتقون دا ریسن اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ از گیونگ از لا اللہ کم تتقون آئی کین اینیمریٹ مینی مینی بینیفٹس آف فاسٹنگ Number one, it reduces your diabetes, controls your blood sugar, improves your heart function by reducing your cholesterol and triglycerides and even blood pressure, boosts your brain function, reduces the incidence of Alzheimer's disease, fights and delays aging, fights cancer, fights inflammation, improves your immunity, gives you, you know, loss of weight, promotes metabolism. I can go on and on, but Allah Ta'ala did not give any of these reasons. The only reason he gave for fasting is to become tattakun, means to develop taqwa. Taqwa is a very broad word, you know, you cannot find an equivalent in English. You can say it is God consciousness, righteousness, fear of Allah or being dutiful to Allah, developing piety. But I think the closest is God consciousness. God consciousness is actually a state. It is a is a constant awareness of the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The God consciousness will lead to piety, lead to being dutiful, fear of Allah, etc. So, if taqwa is the purpose of fasting, what is taqwa and how do we achieve taqwa? It's nothing but, I can put it very simply, do everything which pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't do anything which displeases Him. So, how do we find out? We have to go to Surah Al-Baqarah in the beginning. the very beginning dalikal kitab la raib fi this is the book of which there is no doubt la al dalikal kitab la raib fi hudal lil muttaqin this is a guidance for the people for the muttaqin those who seek taqwa so we have to look into the guidance the quran to find out you know, what exactly is taqwa and how do we please allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time now having a good character is a very important part of taqwa 
For example, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has very clearly said, Who is the best of the mu'min? Akmanul mu'mineen imanan asanukum khulakan. The most complete of believers in faith are the ones who have the best character. So you want to have the best belief, you have to have a best character. This is part of Islam, not just concentrating on, on the rituals. So character is also a very broad term. You know, it can be being helpful to others, being respectful to elders, being honest, shedding anger, hatred, jealousy, backbiting, selfishness, etc., etc. But today I'm going to just concentrate on a few things. Mercy, humility, and sabr. Mercy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we have to be merciful to human beings. We have to shower love and kindness and mercy to all the people. La yarhamullahu man la yarham nas is the hadith of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa The one who does not show mercy, Allah ta'ala will not show mercy. And he is also, you know, when he says la yarhamullahu man la yarham nas, he did not say la yarhamul mu'mineen or muslimin. To the to the, all the people, human beings, whether you are neighbors, non-neighbors, Indians or Americans, foreigners or you know, the friends or enemies, you have to you have to be you know kind and merciful to all the people. Actually, it's not just to humanity. There is another narration of Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam where he says, "Arhamu manfil ardi, yarhamkum manfis samai." Means show mercy to those on the earth. And the one in the heavens will show mercy to you. Those on the earth means it's not just human beings. Even birds and animals and other creatures, whatever is created by God, we have to show mercy. We can all recall the immoral lady who got forgiven just because she fed water to a thirsty dog. And also it is not just birds and animals, even the rivers and oceans and forests, we, we should not cut down forests, we should not pollute rivers and oceans, this is all you know, part of our Iman, so let's be careful about this. The second thing what I would like to tell you is you know, we have to shed pride, haughtiness, ego, at least let's practice this in Ramadan, because pride is not part of Islam and you know Iblis was cast out of the Jannah because of pride. Allah Ta'ala says, وَإِبَادُ الرَّحْمَانِ الَّذِينَ يَمْشُونَ لَلْأَرْضِ حَوْنًا Ibad of Rahman will walk on this earth with total humility. There is no pride. This is what Allah Ta'ala says. And what, is, what exactly is pride? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has shown it is بَثَرُ al غَمْتُ nas. Batar al haq means you know you're rejecting the truth, and ghamtan nas is looking down upon people. Let's not have this prayer. And also there is hadith, la yathalul jannat ahadun fi galbihi, la yathalul jannat ahadun fi galbi. The one who will not enter, none will enter paradise. Who has in his heart mitkalu habbati hardalin min kibriya. That means, you know, not even the weight of a mustard seed of pride, if he has, he will not enter paradise. So let's be very careful about this. The third important thing, because we're running out of time, I have to run fast, is sabr. So what exactly is sabr and why do we have to practice sabr? The simple answer is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we have to practice sabr. Fasbir, sabran, jamilan. Be patient and not just ordinary patients, beautiful, gracious patients. And why do we have to, why Allah Ta'ala says we have to practice sabr, why you have to be in sabr? Because actually he's giving a solution to your problem. For example, suppose somebody has lost a job, instead of fretting and wailing over it, what will, what will happen? Your BP will go up, your cholesterol, your, your sugar will go up, your cortisol, will, you will spoil your health. So be in sabr. That's the solution to the problem. If sabr is the solution to the problem, why Allah Ta'ala is giving a problem to us? This is one question. Allah Ta'ala has given a problem as, as a test. He has created life and death as a test to find out who is better of us. So this is a test. There is another verse he gives about five. Allah will test you with fear, with hunger, with loss of income, with loss of produce and loss of lives. So this is a test and the most merciful thing, the, the beauty is Allah is giving a problem as a test and then he gives a solution to the test, an answer to the test and then also he rewards for the test. Subhanallah.
What is the what is the reward? Bashir is sabirin. Give glad tidings to the sabr people. And why does he reward us? Number one, because we obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Samihna wa taqna. We hear and we obey. He told us be in sabr, we stay in sabr. Secondly, you know, we respect the decree of Allah. Whatever has happened is his decree. We cannot challenge it. We have to just bow our heads down. And, because we, what is the sixth pillar of Iman? The sixth pillar of Iman is Qadr khayrihi wa sharrihi. We have to accept the decree of Allah whether it is good or bad. And also the highest part of Iman they say is al rida ar rida bil qada be happy with the qadr of allah and remember all these problems and solutions will be only short living and uh, it will not go for a long time innama al usri yusra so with the hardship goeth is he repeats allah ta'ala repeats it twice so let us be very careful in this ramadan you know how do we practice how do we build up our character and one last thing i would like to tell you if we have the time is you know sometimes we feel we, lo we lose a job we may think, oh, why we lost the job? It may be actually good for good for us. Wa asa an takrahu bishayin wa huwa khairul lakum. It may be so that what you dislike may be actually good for you. Wa asa an tuhibu bishayin wa huwa sharul lakum. And what you love may actually be bad for you. Wallahu yalamu wa antum la taalamun. Allah knows the best and you do not know. So this verse should give you peace and ease if you don't, if your dua is not accepted or if you love something and you don't get it. So inshallah in this Ramadan let's concentrate on building a good character because that's the whole purpose of Ramadan to become muttaqeen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Shukriya Dr. Abdul Ghafarji. प्रिय मित्रों सज्जनों साथियों बहनों और भाइयों हम हैं आपके शुभ चिंतक आप सुन रहे थे डॉक्टर अब्दुल गफ्फार जी साहब को जो हमें बता रहे थे कि इस रमजान के महीने में एक व्यक्ति अपने कैरेक्टर्स को अपने अखलाक को कैसे बेहतर बना सकता है आपने मेडिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से भी बताया कि इन रोज़ों की वजह से हमारे अंदर जो तब्दीलियां आती हैं ऑन मेडिकल ग्राउंड्स एज बेनिफिट टू द मैन काइंड क्या है कि जैसे आपके शुगर लेवल रिड्यूस हो जाती है आपका कोलेस्ट्रॉल घट जाता है आपका बीपी कंट्रोल में रहता है और आपका हार्ट रेट अच्छा हो जाता है और यहाँ तक कि आपकी एजिंग डिले हो जाती है यानी एंटी एजिंग वाले सिम्टम्स आपके अंदर आ जाते हैं एंड इट हेल्प्स यू टू फाइट कैंसर एंड आपकी इम्यूनिटी बूस्ट हो जाती है और बेानतहा इसके फवायद हैं फ्रॉम द मेडिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू जैसे हम इन्हें आगे एक और एपिसोड में भी देखेंगे परंतु डॉक्टर साहब ने बहुत प्यारी बातें बताई हमें कि इससे हम अपने अखलाक को कैसे अच्छे कर सकते हैं विच आर द बेस्ट वेज विथ विच वी कैन मेंटेन क्योंकि कल डॉक्टर साहब ने बताया था कोई भी आदत आपकी 21 दिनों के अंदर उसकी अगर प्रैक्टिस की जाए तो वो आपकी आदत बन जाती है तो क्यों ना हम इस रमजान बहुत अयाम अभी बाकी हैं लैरस क्या कहते हैं उसे एक एम कर लें एक निर्णय लें एक नियम बना लें कि हम सुधरेंगे Are you ready for that? Allah ke Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne bataya, jaise Doctor Sahab ne usko remind kiya ki jo shaks dunya walon pe raham nahi karta, upar wala us pe raham nahi karta. Irrespective, yahan pe religion ki baat nahi hai, insanon ki baat nahi hai, janwaron ki charin parin kisi ki baat nahi hai. Dunya walon pe jo raham nahi karta, any everything which is here, we should be merciful to them, we should be kind to them. Let us be, and we pledge this today, right? Or one thing, Doctor Sahab ne hame yad dilai wo ye ki Allah ke Rasool ne kaha, rai ka dana, you know, mustard seed, the smallest one, I believe. Uske dana ke barabar bhi agar aapke hriday mein, aapke dil mein takabur hai, gurur hai, ghamand hai, main aisa vikti jannat ke laik nahi, wo jannat mein nahi jaega. कितनी बड़ी बात है और यदि अगर हम कहीं इस तकबर में फंसे हैं तो दिस इज द बेस्ट टाइम टू कम आउट फ्रॉम इट 
प्रिय मित्रों सज्जनों साथियों डॉक्टर साहब ने एक कुरान की आयत भी पढ़ के सुनाई हमें उसके अंदर बताया कि अल्लाह ताला हमें आजमाते हैं इन सारी चीजों से आपको आजमाया जाता है साबिरीन और जो सब्र करने वाले हैं पेशेंस जिनके अंदर है हर चीज पे अच्छी है या बुरी है स्थिति जैसी भी है अगर आप उस पर सब्र करते हैं तो यकीन जानिएगा आपको इसका फायदा होगा और यही इस्लाम की दावत है आपके लिए प्रिय मित्रों सज्जनों साथियों आपका शहर उमा यहां पे आज तमाम होता है दिन चौथा वक्त बहुत तेजी से बदलता है तारीखें बहुत जल्द बदल जाती हैं आइए आपके लिए हमारे यहाँ एक अदद सवाल जो है वो हम बता देते हैं और वो ये कि आप बताएं क्या रमज़ान के इस महीने में हम अच्छे अखलाक की आदत डाल सकते हैं क्या ये संभव है कि हम अपने अंदर अच्छे अखलाक पैदा करने की आदत डाल लें जवाब हाँ या नहीं दोनों सूरतों में अगर तफसील लिखना चाहें तो लिख सकते हैं हमारा नंबर है थ्री फोर जीरो सिक्स फोर फाइव सेवन फोर आपके जवाब व्हाट्सएप के जरिए या एसएमएस के जरिए या वॉइस नोट के जरिए हम तक पहुंचने चाहिए कल शाम इस वक्त से पहले तब तक के लिए हमें आज्ञा दीजिए आपका शुभ चिंतक आपसे विदाई चाहता है अल्लाह हाफिज़